I cannot be a revolution everywhere I go. A young person said those words to me uh, whilst I was trying to persuade them to apply for a particular drama school. Um, I looked at her and I could see the tightness in her eyes. Uh, I could see the frustration, the pain, the anger. I could see all of that. And then I stopped persuading her because I understood. There's so many people to thank for today. I'd like to thank the panel uh, here, and I'd like to thank uh, Ola as well, who's chair this fantastic panel today. I'd also like to thank uh, people like Ed, Lucy, Helen, Kate, Julie, Naomi, and everyone else from the RADA team. A lot of people ask why RADA and why here? Well, it seems fitting enough to have it here. With all the work RADA has been doing, and the nearest station is accessible, and also, this is where I'm being quite But in all seriousness, it was right to start here. RADA has been doing a tremendous job when it comes to diversity, and when I first thought with Ed properly, there was pure honesty in the room about what needs to change and how to move forward. And they've been very, very supportive of us and this whole thing. You know, it hasn't been about hiring a space and putting on an event. It really has been a collaboration. So thank you, Ed, thank you, Rada. I'd also like to thank our board who helped us get to this stage and get to the other stages, which I'll mention later. Their advice and support is much appreciated. I'd also like to thank the team, James, Mumba, Mami and Sanjay, uh, who have been on this journey from the beginning and have worked tirelessly to make this night a reality. Uh, and I really mean this, or else I wouldn't be saying this, but today wouldn't be possible without those people. And this initiative wouldn't be possible without those people, so thank you so much. Uh, also to you, thank you for coming, thank you for following us, thank you for being here. Uh, I would be making the greatest assumption in assuming that you all know who I am. Uh, you don't, you know. I'm a student, I write plays, I direct them, sometimes I produce stuff. And I'm a current student at Central. All those titles, but it's the last one that's important to me. Because I always find myself learning, and I actually enjoy that. There's a pleasure in doing so. I was born in Uganda and raised in Wales. That was fun. <laughs> My first audition, uh, my first audition was auditioning for this West End Youth Theatre. I remember thinking I'm never going to get this. I was surrounded by a uh, posh little white kids with parents who were prepared to pay the full amount in a heartbeat. I didn't fit in, you know, and I didn't get it, but I also didn't want to. I knew that I did fit in, and actually that I deserved better, much better. By chance, I happened to stumble into this theatre company called Harry Shed. It had, and still has, this no audition policy and this warm community vibe. I remember walking into the room and thinking, this is my fucking home. <laughs> I felt like I belonged. There was a place for me and people who wanted to nurture my talent. There was something about their slogan, everyone has a part to play. Something about that word, everyone, that just clicked with me. Now, about two months ago, someone out of nowhere said, since you've come to Central, uh, you've, been, you've made diversity your mission. Why is that? This was quite bizarre. Bizarre because it wasn't a question. It didn't seem like something, it wasn't a question. It, it seemed like something they had planned for a very long time. Like they were really thinking about what they were going to say and how they were going to say it. It was also quite bizarre because at no point were we even talking about diversity. Plus, I didn't know who this person was. <laughs> like we've never met before. But there we are, and they're introducing themselves with that question. I paused, it was quite a long pause, because I, I was thinking about what they were asking, why they were asking it, and what who. I gave a meaningless answer and said something like, education is for everyone. But I went home that day and I really thought about that question, because although it was random, it was quite a valid question. And I had to find a real answer, not for their sake, but for mine. And I guess for me, the world has somehow been exclusive. Like it's rare that I walk in a room and feel included, whether that's in school, in theatre, or just in life. And I guess it's that feeling of knowing what it's like to be excluded. And not wanting anyone else to feel it. But I know that far too many people like Ikra feel it. That's why I care. That's why this matters to me. Now for some reason, some weird reason, diversity has become this overused word. 
there were people throwing around the place and most of the time the people using it don't even know what it means to me. Sadly this word has lost meaning and then we seem to be offered some sort of low grade definition of the word but in reality what this word means is inclusion and representation at every level. That's what diversity is all about. It's about being included and being represented. So unfortunately, unfortunately that inclusion and representation is not there at every level of our institution. That's why we're here, to represent those who are underrepresented and to include those who are excluded in our training. This initiative is about a higher and a greater definition of representation in the student body, in the faculty and in the curriculum. This initiative is far more than making notes about the issue. It does something greater than that. It offers a service, a solution to defeat the issue. Whether that's through our mentoring scheme or our outreach projects, this initiative shouldn't exist. But yet we find ourselves existing because the current plan allows us to exist. Because we are needed. There's a need for this. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to change how and where drama schools do the outreach because we believe that, we believe and know that schools are not reaching out to enough communities. And actually, they all seem to be going out to the same place. I went to a meeting, I was privileged enough to go to a meeting full of all the drama schools in London, and it was part of the Irish team. And I realized that all these schools go to the same places. Where are they not going? Who are they not seeing? You know, that's important. Uh, we also want to change what is being taught and who is teaching them. We know from research that students do better if someone teaching them is from a similar background or share a commonality. We also know that students do better if the curriculum represents them. We want to encourage and closer the presence of students and lecturers in drama schools that reflects the wider society. Presence is a key word. Let's not forget, visibility is ableist language, but also what visibility means is that schools start to tick boxes and actually, it's much more than that. I want to feel like I'm there even when I'm not there. How will we do this? Well, the team will meet with senior members of drama schools on a regular basis to discuss matters of diversity and what we can do together to achieve better representation. We've already started a dialogue with all the leading drama schools in London and we're setting up a student representative system where students can get more involved in our work but also we have a direct link to schools. We work with existing organisations with the aim of sharing knowledge and experience. We will monitor and publish information related to diversity at drama schools in order to make this research more accessible, more clearer. And we will document our interactions with drama schools and publish our challenges and achievements because we believe it's only right and fair for you to see where we are and what sort of progress we've made and if we haven't, you need to know why. We will celebrate drums with best practice and by our actions hold those who will call practice to account. We will use our outreach and encouragement project to deliver introductions to drums with workshops in higher education institutions. We've already started doing that with WACAS. We delivered a workshop there and we found out that actually one person in that workshop has thought about that with drums. You know. We will use our mentoring scheme to make sure that drama schools, uh, the drama schools, students get the best out of their training. Look, as I always speak about this stuff, I'm always asked by friends and close ones whether I believe in the idea of change or not, and if change is going to come someday soon. My reply is I too speak of this change. But my kind of change is different, not the kind of change maybe Ed or Jeff may or other institutions that offer. My kind of change is not on the surface, but in the roots, deep in the roots. You can't simply put black actors on stage anymore and think you've sorted the issue. And you can go home and pat yourselves on the back, but that's not what we're talking about here. You know? We're talking about accessibility on all grounds and for everyone. This change is about the curriculum, it's about who's teaching and what's being taught. This change is about who gets to know these schools and their courses. Who gets in and who doesn't. All of this is changing. You know, I speak of this change because I believe it because I know it's not impossible. Because I know that if we are to achieve it, we must demand it. That's why I believe in this change. And I'm always being reminded by my oppressors that change takes time. No, hey! <laughs> and I'm always reminded by my oppressors that change takes time. Uh, where was I? Uh, and I'm always reminded by my oppressors that change takes time. There seems to be more emphasis on change than anything else. Uh, but please do not be fooled. 
but we're talking about can happen in the next year or two years. For example, yes, we can't fire all the white, able, middle-class lecturers. <laughs> but we can change the sort of visiting lecturers that come in. We can change the style and approach to teaching. We can change what kind of productions our schools program. We can change where our schools do their outreach. It's not impossible. It's by far too impossible. It's there. We need to grab it. My message to current primary school students and university students, graduates, and to our followers is, <clears throat> for so long, we've been taught when to have this conversation. We've been taught how to have this conversation. And we've been taught when to have this conversation. Frankly, I think enough is enough. Join us, join our free membership. Become part of the conversation. Let's stand together and demand what we've been denied for so long. You know, last week in the general election proved what we can do if we come together. Yes. If we believe in ourselves, it proved, it proved the power we have as young people. Let's stop waiting for the middle class white man to deliver our change. Let's do the job ourselves and do it well. Yeah. Now, I know we've started something, and yes, this is a great step, but we haven't achieved anything. Let's not forget. Do not think today is enough. Do not get comfortable. We are not done yet. We have, to, we have a lot of work to do, and we have to mobilize and mobilize strong because this is not going to be easy, but it is not impossible if we work together. My message to those who are worried and undecided, for those who don't, who think it's not their place to say, they always say, I'm not getting involved in that because I'm not black. I can only repeat the words of Martin Luther King here. The ultimate tragedy is not the oppression and the cruelty by the bad people, but the silence of that by the good people. Yes. When we fail to speak, to question, to challenge, we give them approval to carry on. And finally, my message to drama schools is we want to work with you. We want a collaboration. But we will challenge you at every step. We will hold you accountable, account, accountable for your decisions. And let me make myself clear if I fail to do so. We will not entertain or be entertained by the games of this system. I am tired of the countless conversation, conversations and the countless events that we've had about the issue. Sitting at the table doesn't make us diners anymore. We must be eating what's on the table now. So, talking about the issue isn't good enough. Let's start to do something about this. Let's build and pave the way for an industry that is representative of our, of our society. That question at the, at the beginning, where does diversity start? It starts in our drama schools. And if it's not reaching our drama schools, then it has no hope of it reaching the industry. Let's work together on this. Imagine what we can achieve if we work together. And remember, because I want you to remember this, this isn't a, a black or Asian or white issue. Stop treating us such. This is about everyone. Everyone who's been included in our training, all of those who've been left out and are still left out. You know, this is it. This is our chance. Because if this doesn't work, then I don't know how long we can carry on being a revolution. Thank you.